Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. When we last left off, we managed to hunt down our clone and stop them just in time as they were trying to steal the Normandy. And, well, there's now only one Commander Shepard, as it should be. That being said, well, there's a party in the works, but uh, before we do that, I think it's time we get some, uh, in, or get some time with our various squad mates, friends, whatnot, on the, uh, Silver Sun Strip. Let's see who's there. Uh, let's see. Oh, my friends at Aramax Arsenal. Aramax Arsenal, huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. An effort to raise both awareness and morale here on the Citadel. We've recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. We got a big surge of viewer interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding, adding Reaper forces as well. You understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving your, our viewers a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come have you come compete. We've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you're interested. All right, cool. So yeah, combat simulator. You know I'm all about that. I love this combat. Let's see. I received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Silver Sun Strip. Although it isn't made of silver or near sun, stupid primitives. <laughs> when you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at the Silver, uh, Silver Coast Casino upper floor. Hopefully no dead arms dealers this time. Eh, uh, but Garrus... Well, I mean, he wouldn't kill anybody, but, you know, he tends to get involved in our shenanigans, and people end up dead when that happens. Uh, let's see, surely leave activities. Uh, Edie. Part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. Reply, and we can meet at the new apartment. Let's see. Oh, uh, what is Vic? Next time you're in that sweet new apartment with time to kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. <laughs> Titan, let's go out and be normal people. I think that's a lost cause at this point, but I suppose trying wouldn't hurt. You know what you need, Shepard? You need a night where you get to just hang out and try to be normal for a few hours. Let's get something to eat. After that, we can, or we could go down to the strip or whatever you want. Let me know. Shepard, would love to see. Or, let's see. We'd love to see it. And it can't be any worse than the pokey little captain's cabin on the Normandy. Hey, I like that captain's cabin. I mean, this this is better, but I like that captain's cabin. Don't insult it. <laughs> let's see, Grace Sato. Commander Shepard, just want to say how indebted I am to you, not just for saving my life, but for giving me a greater sense of purpose. After our, our ordeal securing the array base on Antrim, I now know I have something more than my technical expertise to offer. Oh, oh yeah, that lady, like, what, four videos ago now? The, uh, satellite array? I forgot about that. Alright, so let's invite some people over. I mean, not for a party, but just kind of chill with people. How do I do that? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's... Purchase party supplies. We'll get to that eventually. Commander, if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. Well, that's not. I have I'm already gonna... placed credits in your account for this purpose. Yeah, well, I'm not wanting to do that. I want to invite people over. <laughs> How do I do that? Where's the invite people over button? Where's the funk? I need me some funk. Where's, where's the radio controls? Hoppiness is just not doing it for me, baby. Still haven't found the invite people over button. Alright. Now this is more of the hip-hop. There we go. Funk. Yeah. Uh, oh, invite up. There we go. Uh, let's start by seeing what James has to do. Has to say. I'm pretty sure Cognit E. It's going to be a night out on the town. Yeah, I guess we'll invite Miranda eventually. Hey, Lola. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never.
Nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. I'm not getting between you and Caden, am I? <laughs> not even remotely. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? It's a lot of responsibility, and you haven't passed the tests yet. I know. And I heard every word you said. I'm 100% committed to this. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. All right, I was figuring there'd be more out of that, but no way. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you in here for? You've been holding out on me. I have. What? Oh man, <coughs> this is sweet. <coughs> Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <coughs> <coughs> this is high quality stuff. <coughs> Maybe I could. You know, <laughs> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? You gonna watch or you gonna join in? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Why couldn't? <laughs> Look at you. You know my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm probably going to fast forward this, because something tells me 182 times doing this is going to be a while. Keep it up, amigo. I'm kind of not even counting. I'm hoping the game eventually keeps count for me, because I, I stopped counting after, like, two. <laughs> I'm just going to, like, keep going until the game tells me to stop, I think. <laughs> nice form. That's 20. Oh shit, that's only 20? <laughs> Fuck, we got a ways to go on this, don't we? First part is I don't even have my timer visible, so I don't know how long we're going to be recording here. Damn it, I'm not going to let James show me up. I don't know where are we at. Probably <clears throat> counting, but I'm just—I don't care. I mean, I'm, like I said, I hope the game keeps counting. Just you know, eventually James will say something, or the game will just make me stop once I hit 182. <clears throat> did he say? <clears throat> you go, 
Commander. You know it would be amusing to do this sequence wearing the evening gown? Just because that would seem like these clothes, these clothes seem the kind of thing you'd work out in. High heels and a slinky little dre black dress? Not so much. Then again, I know nothing about workout attire. Much less women's workout attire. <laughs> I think he stops us every 10 to make a comment. That means we're probably about 50 right now. Or 55, I don't know. How many, how many have we done since the last time we made a comment? He's going a little, fist, a little faster than I thought. Well, think about it. We're almost a third of the way there. Or a little over a third of the way there. You're gonna be ripped, man. Yeah, and that puts us about 60 then if my, what I'm, my uh, realization is correct. That's 60! High five! 20. <laughs> okay, so maybe my plan wasn't right. How, how often do you stop this in one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, <coughs> ten. Oh, sure. So he disrupts the pattern completely at this point. Whatever. <laughs> Good stuff, Hefe. And just watching this is making my arms tired. Maybe it's all the mouse clicking that can make my arms tired too. Better the motion strain or some such. This shall be the ultimate challenge of me let's playing. Can I make an interesting commentary? Oh, yeah. Over 182 pull-ups. James is not helping. His commentary is really just, yeah, you're awesome. Go you. Stop being so supportive and boring, damn it. So, 91, huh? <clears throat> Woo! Not taking as long as I thought it would, but still taking a while. Thanks. Just 82 to go. Not helping, James.
I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Ha. All right. <laughs> you know, either these animations are wrong, or I've been doing pull-ups wrong my whole life. I thought you were supposed to go chin above the bar, not back of the head above the bar. I like where you're facing the bar, not with the bar behind your head. I don't know, I've never been one to do much uh, for the pull-ups. So, you know, I, it's, if, I, if I've been doing it wrong, like, oh darn, what a, what, what a shock. I'll have to start doing it right the next time I'm not doing pull-ups. That's it, come on. Wait, when did he get back? Yeah, this would be a great time for James to <coughs> chime in with something. I'm running out of things. Actually, I ran out of things to say about this a while ago. <laughs> Come on, James, say something so I can make fun of you once more. I'm seeing a lot of repeated cameras here. Uh, is that a good sign or a bad sign? Uh, I don't know at this point. Probably should be counting, but again, I'm not. <laughs> so close. That doesn't help me. How many more? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Holy hell, you did it. I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Might need help pulling my armor on next time. I'm happy to help, Lola. <laughs> don't tease a girl when she's winded. <laughs> okay, okay. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry, I won't. All right. You get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. <laughs> you get to do this all the time. All right, Just I guess he's not going to say anything fun. different. So let's go invite the next person. Kick him out, probably. Or I don't know. Let's, uh... Call it Miranda. That seemed like a good plan. Also, there we go. Now I can see my timer again. Wow, twenty minutes. That was a that was a great twenty minutes. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really? A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... Exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I'd describe it as engaging, rather than dangerous. I'll drink to that. <laughs> trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones, you can never be sure. Come on, you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. So is she gonna go find something weird to interact with, or is she just gone? I looks like she's just gone, alright. Let's go invite up Edie. Actually, let's see. Anything else coming in the email? Nope, nothing else. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I guess we could. 
Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jack has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? All sale- No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Katie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? <sighs> Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Ah, oh, well, we don't see what you had in mind for the rest of the crew. I feel gypped. <laughs> I've got to admit, that ring is a cool idea. A little chintzy and over-emotional, but... or emotional, but... cool. You know what? For the next one, I think it's best to get changed. Actually, I really have no idea if it's a good idea, but it seems like a logical conclusion. And you invite someone up to your apartment. You gotta make sure you look good. Shit, I don't know where we are in the music selection. I'm trying to get to the funk! Uh, that's the pop music. That means hip hop. Funk. There we go. Funk and a little black dress. The signs of romance. I might have a strange and warped sense of romance. Or know nothing about it. That's also possible. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Kate. We'll just end up back here anyway. Am I right? Trust me. Let me impress you. Oh, no, really? <laughs> Come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have, uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. 
Wish me luck. You like to cook, Shepard? Roommate on Arcturus taught me. He said eating cafeteria crap 24-7 was bad for morale. <laughs> Is there anything you're bad at? Where'd you learn to cook? Class is a jump zero, believe it or not. Young biotics who can't cook for themselves risk starving. Did you pass? You're burning the garlic. Sorry. Guess I'm distracted. Bye. I wonder. So? We have hot sauce, right? This was great. What? Is it over? Well, what do you suggest? I think we need to find a way to burn off these calories, don't you? Passy and a fade to black. I can live with it. Alright. No one else to invite up? No other emails? You know what? We're heading out to a casino strip. The one thing in life that I regret, the only time I've ever been to Vegas, I didn't have good clothes or money to gamble with. You gotta hit the strip, you gotta hit it hard, a lot of money, and look good while you're doing it. At least that's my opinion. All right, so what do we got here. Hmm. Got furniture. Yeah, no, you aren't. Lots of fabrications, sort of foundation. Oh, rose and crop materials. Hey, what's this? We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Oh, sweet! My house decorations! Eh. Yeah. Ooh. Simple bedding. Vibrant kitchen. Ooh! A little cherry red, but it looks like cherry wood to me. I can get behind cherry wood. Eh. Yeah. That looks like granite. Or maybe marble. I, I can dig that. That gets rid of the waterfall? Hell no. Artistic shelving, though. I can get behind that. Yeah, cozy sofa, sure. We have a different option already. You know what? I was going to buy all of it and figure it out before the party. I want the place to look good. Have all of our options on the table. Besides, I've got way more money than I know what to do with. I mean, I could buy those Spectre class weapons, but pff, who wants that shit? Oh, that's to get out of this area. Heck no. So I'm deployed to a hotspot on Bavaria. My usual squad's on medical, so I'm stuck with any N7s who are nearby. Just wanted a nice, smooth mission. You know, professional. Ended up a damn train wreck. We're fighting for the fate of the galaxy. You'd think we could handle one mission as a coherent fighting unit. Squad may be good. Random group never good. It's random groups are the way only way I play. Also, would not expect to see a Vorcha in a place like this. Just just saying. <laughs> and again, Vorcha world class in the multiplayer. What the heck? Oh, okay, so three card Monty, I think I saw it there. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh. You 
Dios, el mío lo queda aquí. Oh, oh. There? Alright, pretty sure they're cheating. I also don't know if I can catch them cheating. So we'll just ignore that. going on down here. Okay, there's the casino. Garrus is waiting for us there. Javik's wait. Okay, yeah, let's see what Javik has to say. <laughs> Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming, too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted! We have the real Shepard now! Alright, places everyone! Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop! Roll cameras! And... Action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah! You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean, no life. Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory senses. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe. Now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. The cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's our half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorcha Scum. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator! May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. 
Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Okay. Let's see what is this. Is that the same guy that did the whole Elcor cast version of Hamlet? He's just insane. That's all I can figure. Welcome to Castle Arcade. Have a good evening now. Uh, okay, this is Arcade. Okay, cool. I can dig arcades. What do we got here? We got... Relay Defense. Game rules. Target enemies as they appear on the screen, keep launching allied ships on the road to get them safely to the mass relay to maintain a score multiplayer and save points. Only three missiles can be active at one time. Destroy enemies before they damage the planet. If your planet takes too much damage, the game is over. 200 credits. Okay. Pause D to target. Right click for that. Left click for missile. Right click to send out ship. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, I see the little black hole looking things are spawns. Okay. No, it isn't. At least not on the board there. Okay. I'm curious. I've, they said there was a prize if you win. What do we have here? Battered Ezo. Okay. Punch your opponent to lower their health meter and earn points. Survive as many opponents as possible earning points. Block incoming jabs to prevent damage. Charge up a punch to break through blocks. Jab to interrupt an opponent that is charging up. Jabbing when an opponent is blocking reduces your score. Executive jabs inc or causing increased damage. Earn a prize for achieving a high score. Punch. Block. Alright. That's a really simple fighting game.
Is it? Man, I didn't even. Oh, yeah, I beat James. I beat James! <laughs> yeah, Al Jelani. You must know a lot about the dodge game on this to uh, be able to get such a high score. Towers of Hanoi. Oh! Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. Oh, come on. I love that in the first one when you had to unlock a door doing. Or no. No, just say it was reroute power to a VI, I think, in the first game where you did that. Which gun to use for best armor penetration? As if anyone carries two guns anymore. It's elementary. If you're staring down a hallway with Cerberus and Churin, you deploy an energy drink on their shields. Or just overload them, sure. And if you come up against a marauder, you detonate your tech. Exactly. Wait, what? I don't know, I don't use tech armor. Wouldn't know whether that's a good decision or not. What do we got here? Alright, so I guess like base chess or something. The only thing I know about space chess is you always let the Wookiee win. Great prizes! You could win! Daid, you're playing a UFO catcher? What? You're mine, you bastard! God damn it! Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? You really want one of those plushy toys? God damn right I do. Okay then. Credits. Here, let me. Beginner's luck? It's obviously rigged somehow. But I just... never mind. I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart-ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? Zaid, will another victory ever match the one you just experienced? You're right. Guess you've been around that block a few times. <laughs> a few too many. Come on, you're buying. Yes, I am. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Game starts. The player can move the claw. Activate the claw above the prize you wish to claim. Put any prize the claw picks up and delivers to the player. Value yeah. the prize from the colored ball. Let's see. Ooh, orange gives me a weapon mod. Everything else is some kind of decor. Gains 500 credits to play. All right. So WASD to operate. Ah, I see, so... I see how it works, okay. Congratulations. You're a winner. So, it's not like normal UFO catchers when you only get one move in each direction. What happens instead... What you win?
damn it, is that it changes which one is in which slot. I see how it is. Cool, oh, music track for the apartment. I wish the music selection process was a lot simpler. Yeah, I'll probably come back to that later. Something tells me I'm going to be screwing around in this a lot off camera. It's just... No, pretty much all the time. Surrounded by husks. Tech armor. Rock nice swarmers jumping at me. Tech armor. But against the Marauder? Surely you want the addition of tech armor. Nah. I overload their shields, move in real close, and then detonate. Tech armor takes them right down. But couldn't you just... hit them? You can try, but those marauders roll like you would believe. Spirits, I wish I could roll like that. <laughs> Admittedly, that is one of the obnoxious things with marauders. They do love that roll. Alright, so that's the arcade. I think... No, it's just crazy. That man is crazy. Okay, so I guess to get to the upstairs, we need to... Since I can't find stairs upstairs, I guess we'll cut to the arcade. This is an interesting place. What's up here? Anything interesting? Uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, the way to get upstairs. And this is the RMAX Arena. Oh, which is its own loading zone. Yeah, this is the combat simulator. We're not gonna. We're not gonna deal with that for the moment. But I want to dedicate a video or two to just that. Because, I mean, come on, it's this game and it's combat. You know I'm all on board with that. So, anything over here then? So there I was, taking cover behind a table in the middle of this Asari monastery. Scion on my right side, pinning me down. Abominations coming into the room on my left. Oh, that's brutal. I remember when we thought the Reapers had the toughest ground troops. Good times. Collectors. And oh, it's, it's a casino. Alright, I mean, we could blow some cash here at the casino betting on stuff. You know, the Varen races, the. Whatever the hell that thing is from the first game. And, okay. Alright, no access, fine. <laughs> Not like I went back there and saw the owner of the place on, dead. Ah, yeah, roulette. Roulette wasn't available last time. I'm not much of a roulette person. I'm uh, not much of a roulette guy, though, so... I'm not terribly in on that. And... We got the upstairs here. Ah, there we go. Wait for Garrus on the dance floor. Hmm. Hey, oh. Okay, that's by the party supplies. We're not going to be doing... Oh, actually, you know, I might as well pick them up now. Any credits? Woo! I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can, you know, front that, guys. I don't know if I can get that money. Alright, so now we can host the party. Turians usually do with their time off. Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me, 
I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... Decent, overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. <coughs> Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. Apparently Mike, he knows how to handle a gun, but apparently not a conversation. And somehow that does not surprise me. But hey, we helped Garrus get laid, maybe. Or maybe not, I really don't know. Uh, let's see. That's the door that I came in. I guess this leads to the first floor. A little turned around. And yep, we're back out here. Alright, so I guess that's everything to see on the strip. No, no, it will not be. All right. How did you get your lead actor to work with a live pigeon? Oh, I guess that's everything here for the moment. I have this spot. Yeah, what's Avina got to Hello, say here? Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Silver Sun Strip. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has declared Silver Sun Strip a top Citadel attraction. It is known for its wide variety of entertainment facilities and vibrant nightlife. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Alright. So yeah, I guess that's everything here. I, f I feel like there were a lot of possible conversations that can be had that were missing. But I think we're going to call it a day. Tune in next time when, well, right. right. is top flight like Top Gear. Anyway, we all know Barla Vaughn. Huh. I know a Volus information broker would actually be good at combat. Anyway. You all know it's gonna be show what's gonna be happening next time. Until then, though, as always, later, folks. All right, whatever. Anyway, later.